Hello, this is Jonathan Landeros of Kativ Technologies. In this video, I'm going to be controlling part visibility inside Inventor assemblies and drawings using view representations. I'll be using this nightstand shown here I created over the Christmas holiday, and I'll be focusing on the web highlighted in red that holds the tabletop on. As we switch over to the drawings that were created, we can see the assembly views and the exploded views, and these show all the parts and in my opinion, at least pretty well describes the intent of the design that we'd like to have. However, if we switch over to the projected views, the nut plates that we were showing earlier that hold that tabletop on, while we could still manufacture this part, those nut plates add a little bit of clutter and maybe some ambiguity to the design. I'd like to hide them. So I can right click in the browser and I can turn them off individually. And that works just fine. But I'd have to do that for each one of these views. That makes it a time-consuming process at best, and there's always a chance you're going to miss that one critical component. So instead, I'm going to open up my assembly, my assembly file, and I'm going to set the visibility here. I'm going to expand my representations folder at the top of my browser. I'm going to right-click, and I'll choose New. That creates a new view representation where I can create this new visibility state. I'm naming it Hardware Off. Now I can go through and I can turn off the visibility of all those nut plates. Just right click and uncheck visibility. Now those plates are off. Now I want to lock that design view so it fixes in this state and doesn't change if I change any other visibility settings. Right click lock and that takes care of that. Now I have to switch to my drawing and apply the design view to that state. I do that by right clicking on the view and choosing apply design view and I can tell Inventor take that hardware off setting and apply it to all my design views. Just by pulling out the pull down I also might want to check on the associative setting right here. That means if I ever change that design view it will update these drawings automatically. Now we've got all those projected views just like that we've turned off the visibility of all those nut plates now we can add the remaining dimensions and in we are. The other views remain unaffected, just those ones on this page. And just like that, we've used a design view to manipulate our part visibility in the assembly and drawings. That's it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good day.